about to leave already packing come with me i'm not hello friends and enemies welcome to the next immortals after dark vlog in my messy living room um I basically haven't cleaned all week because <laughs> my partner's been working downstairs a lot which means i can't clean yay but uh, i'm about to work out that's what's on the tv but i wanted to tell you that i started conrad and noemi's book which is dark desires Shit. we we are in the thick of me not knowing any of these titles dark needs at night's edge i am 10 chapters in and i immediately was just like oh yeah that's right i love this one i love it so much conrad is this is definitely like borderline morality chain we're not quite there because he's not really that bad but he does kind of want to be good because of her and um yeah i love it i love a ghost it's just solid y'all it's so solid um i don't i can't i'm not sure if you could just read this one without reading the others you maybe could you might be a little lost but it could work if you really wanted a ghost romance and yeah i just oh it's so good it's so so good and yeah i'm, I'm just i'm a happy camper over here <laughs> Uh, diving into that and I will hopefully be done with it early tomorrow which it's like Tuesday right now and the live is a week from this Friday so I've got a little a little over a week but yeah I'm gonna go work out and pause my book for a little bit and I'll check in with you soon I just want to intro this and tell you that I'm loving it already okay um if you hear snoring that's why y'all 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 this book this book Okay, I don't, I mean, I feel like the next three books are basically just me fangirling because we are in my element. Number one, ghosts. Number two, demons. And chapter 13 uh, just happened. And Nyx is like, well, that's what happens if you don't let me lick your horns. <laughs> and I just, look, all I want in my life is to bring the chaos Muppet energy that Nyx has throughout the Immortals After Dark books. That is my goal. I want to be a chaos muppet and i feel like i do it pretty well for the most part and she's just amazing it's amazing she says the things that are running through my brain because we all know i love demons and we all know i like horns look if i gotta pick that's what i'm picking i can't help it you know some of us we, we all have different ids and that is totally valid but um yeah <laughs> that's definitely one of mine so hi y'all i feel like doing this read-along is literally just like exposing all the things i love <laughs> and that maybe other people think are weird oh well oh well i'm here it's fine so yeah i am listening to the book i am papa i'm on chapter 14 i've got two hours and 26 minutes left i won't finish it tonight but I will be done with it tomorrow, pretty early in the day. And I'm really excited to continue on and read Cade's story and then get to Sabine. Because like, okay, look, real goals, Nyx and Sabine. Let me be that badass, okay? Like, that would be amazing. But um, that's not gonna happen. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's where we're at right now. I'll update you in a little bit. I just had to come and scream about Nyx being amazing. Also, I hope that as like y'all were reading these or have read these, you've noticed how much stuff intertwines. So like in this book right now, we're seeing things that intertwine in the first three books that we already read and we're seeing events that are going to start happening. So yeah, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, hello, Um, I am listening this morning while I drink my coffee before I get go. I guess she's just looking out the window. Anyways, before I get on with my day, um, and I just got through chapter 20, which is like steamy, steamy, steamy. I love this book. I love the story. I love Conrad and Noemi. I love how, um, I don't know what my hair is doing. Obviously I slept on it, so just we're just we're gonna pretend that's not doing whatever it's doing um i love them so much y'all this book is very um 
I feel like it's kind of character driven more than plot driven and I really enjoy that sometimes. I think it's a nice change of pace from the other three books. It's much slower in a way, but still steamy. But yeah, chapter 20, the like talking about what they want to do to each other. Ho, ho, ho boy, that was hot. I cannot wait to get further in the book when they actually get to bang because it's going to be hot. Conrad is something. And I know we talked about it. I love demons, um, but Conrad is up there. And I mean, again, crack me open. <laughs> These books are very much put it in my veins, my kind of thing. Um, I totally, totally get why they're not for everyone, but boy, are they for me. Um, they really, really are. And I can't wait to finish this one today um, because I love it. I love it immensely, and it's just so good. Like, it's so good, y'all. I've got an hour and 48 minutes left, so not very long at all and yeah I can't wait to see what I think by the time I get to the end um I'm doing weird things in my head because of the bang situation I don't have a clip down here so all right I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna go get on with my day and keep listening and I will update you very very soon hello I have finished my babies Conrad and Noemi who I just there's so much to unpack in this book. First of all, we have a virgin alpha male hero, which is spectacular. I truly love Conrad immensely in this book. He's so angry and justifiably so. I don't, I have food on my arm. I don't think I'd be thrilled to just be turned against my will. And poor Noemi is dealing with the fact that she was murdered uh by this man and has been stuck to haunt this house she loves forever and possibly just be a ghost that no one can see and it just sounds really rough to be honest with you and i feel for her i really do um <clears throat> i think it's very interesting that in a moment she talks about how she was weak because she was murdered and i i sympathize with her and the idea that she would feel that way and um in a weird way i don't know if that makes sense but yeah i just loved this book and it was so stinking hot and steamy wow 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 yeah the steam factor on this one is amazing i really feel like also in this book we see more fun with nyx who of course i love and you know speaks to my soul when she speaks about the demon brother <laughs> And I know also, like, I'm not expecting to love Kate's book because I don't know how you come off of this book, which for me is a six star read on my list, which means it's an all time favorite, and go into Kate's book. It's just not possible. Um, so I know that that book's gonna be a little rough ish. I still love Kate, but not as much as I love Sabine <laughs> or Conrad and Noemi. But um, yeah, I just really, really enjoy where we're going right now with this and i'm enjoying the journey obviously and just kind of the slow unfolding of like the pairings to whatever is going to happen when the ascension comes and yeah we're just it's chill i think is this the first one lothair doesn't show up in i think quite possibly i might be wrong um also we did have another limb lost we lost some hands in this one so our limb count is growing and at the end of the vlogs and on the discord i will have a final total for everyone <laughs> uh, i know faded mates did it as well but we're all having fun commentating on the uh sheer volume of limbs lost uh it's pretty fun and i can't wait till we get to the bag of heads because that's my favorite <laughs> anyways i'm going to start the next book here which is this one it's something demon warrior deep kiss of a demon warrior kiss of no kiss of a demon king is shit this one demon something i don't know i can the, again we are in the mess of titles i cannot keep straight to save my life so this is what i'm starting next and i will update you all in a little bit when i get there so i'm having a very chill saturday afternoon listening to dark desires after dusk 
And I forgot that we get like a full preview for Redstrom's book in this. Like, okay, totally forgot. I have to say, I really like the representation we're having around OCD. Don't love the situation with like her not having her meds. It makes me really anxious, <laughs> um, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I, I think, I remember, I don't love this one as much as I love Conrad and Noemi, but I just think like Conrad and Noemi's book is so good that this just doesn't hold up. I also just don't love the vessel plot. I am not a um, big fan of like, you must have a baby situation type weird plot points. Um, specifically, like I don't like men trying to control when women should have a child. I'm already on chapter 11. I have two hours and 40 minutes left. I will either finish it up this evening slash afternoon, or I may finish it up tomorrow. And then I've just got one more book left and it's my lady love, Sabine. Oh my God, I love Sabine so much. I can't not, cannot wait, cannot wait. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. I am in makeup because I filmed this morning and I'm probably honestly gonna go wash my face in a few and just keep on listening to this book and having a chill Saturday. Angus is nursing, which he has not done this. He just started again. It, it had been well over a week since he did that. So I think we're on the mend. We think we're on the mend. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard because he is like oh, 10 and a half. <laughs> like he will be seven in July. So yeah, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We're not really sure uh, what happened and then why he's now like two weeks later completely fine. But we are nursing and listening to our book and just having a chill, chill, chill Saturday. And I'm appreciating it. All right, I will update y'all in a little bit. Same spot, same outfit, no makeup. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I washed my face for the day because I'm not leaving the house. Yeah. I don't really leave the house anyways. Anyways, I wanted to update you. I'm on chapter 22 now? 22. Uh, and we just talked about how touching a demon's horns is like giving them a hand job and I, it just makes me laugh so hard because Nyx is always like, I want to lick them. And obviously I've said it before, I like horns. I think they're hot. Like particularly this kind, because we're not talking about just like this, like coming out, we're, we're talking about like comes out and like goes around the ear situation. Um, kind of like more goat-esque horns. And I like it. I like it a lot. Um, I would totally rock horns, like, that's just who I am as a human. Like I, I would be okay with that development. Um, and I just love how Holly like gets drunk and then Cade the next day is like, wake up. And it's, it's so mean, it's so mean, but it's so in character for him. I, I love these demon brothers. I don't, I don't love Cade's book. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I don't particularly love Cade's book. But I do love my demon brothers still immensely. Uh, and I'm just like, I want to get through this so I can read Sabine and Rydstrom. Like, right now. Right now. So. I'm going to go back to this book. I've got... Uh, an hour and 50 minutes left, it says. Like I said, I think I'll get maybe to an hour and a half left today and then I'll finish it up tomorrow or late tonight and I'll talk to you soon. So Tira just showed up who was in Kate, Kat, Katian's, no, Katarin's book. Um, and I just love how we like get all these little interweavings and the Talisman High is coming up and we're on the bridge and I'm so excited. Oh, I'm very ready. I'm ready to be done with this book. <laughs> I'm telling you, all I want is to read Sabine and Redstrom. That's it. That's all I want. And I'm so close to that, that end goal. I am done with Cade and Holly's book. I love his grand gesture immensely. 
but I'm gonna agree with some Discord people and say that yes, we needed a little more gravel. We needed a little, a little more. Um, of course she ends up pregnant at the end. It's fine, don't care. But I do love how much he feeds her <laughs> and the ways in which he takes care of her OCD and like shows care for it because it's not like, he puts that effort in and I appreciate that because I do feel like you could get a lot of romance heroes that don't put the effort in. So yeah, that was nice and I liked it. I gave it a four star. It's like a three and a half, four. It's a road trip book. Um, it's not the best, it's not the worst. I just think it's really, really hard to live up to Conrad and Noemi's book. So we are on to Kiss of a Demon King. I'm so ready to see my love, Sabine. Uh, I said it in the Discord, I'll say it here. I would marry Sabine in a heartbeat. I would join them as a throuple, like, sign me up. <laughs> uh, I love, love a prickly heroine. And Sabine is the epitome of that. And she does not give a fuck. And I love it. So I'm gonna listen to some of that tonight. Um, honestly, I'm probably only gonna manage a chapter or so. I'm really tired and it's almost midnight. So I would like to get to sleep here in a few. But tomorrow, I'm probably gonna finish it. I can't wait. So I will let you know wherever I get and how it goes when I get there. All right, y'all, I'm here to wrap up this vlog situation. So I finished Rydstrom's book last night and I just, my heart. I continue to love this series. I will go, let's go through my ratings real quick for all three books. I don't remember how I wrapped this up last time. I have no, I have, I'm pure chaos right now and I'm sorry, not sorry. Um, I just felt like channeling my inner demon, which I feel like would involve black lips slash Sabine. I feel like she would rock black lipstick. I unfortunately don't have any like cool headdress tiara situations to put on that I think Sabine would also wear but we're here. We're here and we're doing this. So I read, so I have a mix of all the covers. So I read um, Noemi and Conrad's book, which I gave a six star to. It is a all time favorite. They are definitely one of my favorite couples. I can't get enough of this, this book. This is one that I'm gonna revisit a lot. Then I gave Cade's book a four star, which I do think suffers from the fact that the last book is so good. It's so good. And then this is just like, not good. Also, I hate that he does, they don't have horns on the covers. Like, it just makes me sad. I need more demon romances in my life. I'm going on a hunt. This one I gave a four, two, and then I don't have <laughs> Kiss from a Demon King at all physically. I thought I did, but I was wrong. And I really, really liked this one again. This is a five star because I love Sabine so much. She carries the story for me, and I just think that, like, we're really, again, hitting our stride in these stories. I know that I think not next month, not March books, but April books, we start Torture Island, which is going to be rough. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah, so in April, we will be going to Torture Island. I hope y'all are ready. And reading Lothair, finally, which is going to be exciting. I can't believe we're this far. Y'all, I'm so excited. I, I know this is only the second vlog and like, we're gonna be starting the next round of books here and I'm just, I love it here. I love these books <laughs> so much. So yeah, um, pretty much, can't wait. <laughs> but I also wanna give you the update. We made a channel, because of course we did, to count the body parts. So if you don't wanna hear about all the body parts lost in this chunk of the series, well, Here's your chance to leave. I'll see you in the next one. But obviously, if you've been reading, you may be following along. So I wanted to update you on what has been lost so far per book. And then at the next vlog, we'll talk about it again. And we'll talk about it. <laughs> We're gonna be the bag ahead soon. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Okay. Anyways, in A Hunger Like No Other, we lost one leg. No rest for the wicked. There was one arm lost. Wicked deeds on a winter's night. We had one leg, one eye slash skull area damaged, lost. Uh, dark Needs at Night Edge, we lost a hand. You know, you would have thought the ghost romance, we might have gotten away with no limbs lost, but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. 
Uh, Dark Desires After Dusk, we lost a hand, an eye, and horns. Yep. And then in Kiss of a Demon King, someone lost their foot leg situation. So, we're, we're looking pretty good right now. We got, we got a big count going. <laughs> um, that puts us at, for horns, one. One set of horns lost. Uh, one foot, two legs, one arm, one hand, two eyes, and one head skull injury. So, yeah. Alright, um, if you're watching this on the day it comes out, the live show is tonight on my channel. I will try to get next month's vlog up sooner. Like I said, just been chaos around here, um, pretty much unavoidably so. Which, yeah, it's just been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It'll be fine. I'm getting through it. Things are things are already looking better, so it's fine. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me. Drop a devil emoji in the comments because we all know how I feel about those horns. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see y'all very soon in my next video. Bye.